This machine can sew combined decorative patterns and letters. Use the manual buttonhole presser foot, I, for this stitch. Turn off the power switch before replacing the presser foot. In order to sew a pattern neatly, apply interlining and conduct a test sewing first. Since the pattern might be deformed, according to the type and thickness of fabric and fusible interlining to be used, make sure to conduct test sewing on the same fabric and interlining. Press the Option button. Select the test sewing and press the confirmation button. Test sewing and adjust the shape by pressing the selection buttons. After adjusting, press the confirmation button. Test sewing is complete. We'll use this pattern as an example. Press one point letter selection button. Select the font. Press pattern selection buttons. Press one point letter selection button. Select decorative pattern two. Select this stitch pattern. Place the fabric underneath the presser foot and start. The machine will stop automatically when sewing is finished. Get rid of unnecessary thread on the front side of fabric by scissors. Press the selection button and move the cursor to the position where you wish to delete. By pressing Clear button, the pattern on the cursor will be deleted. Press One Point Letter Selection button. Select Decorative Pattern 2. Select this stitch pattern. This machine can sew the combined patterns and letters continuously. After inputting patterns, press the Continuous Stitch button to sew the patterns continuously. Two types of combination can be set. By pressing the button once to display this marking, and you can continuously sew a combination of patterns with wide space among patterns. If you press the button twice, the display shows this marking, and you can continuously sew a combination of patterns with narrow space among patterns. When the button is pressed once again, this function will be cancelled.